is Rose. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna tell you the first things that you need to do after coming in Canada. The first things I did after coming in Canada. I'm going to share my experiences with you. So I'm standing here in Vancouver at this beautiful place. This this place is called as Olympic Village, where you can see the beautiful views of the main um, science world. This is the science world. You can see the ball, right? This is the science world. And the place behind me right here, I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. It's it's BC place. It's a big stadium in Canada, in Vancouver. So, and I think right here they're going to... Uh, the FIFA is going to be right here, I guess. Not sure. So, I'm going to tell you some things like what I did when I came, came to Canada. The first thing, what you have to do is like get a phone number. Like if you want to communicate to someone, get a phone number. So, when I was here, I did not have a phone. And I was in quarantine for 14 days. So, I thought from the first 14 days, I'd sit back home and apply for jobs. But I did not have a Canadian number. So I would downloaded this app right here. You can download it. It's called Text Me when you come in Canada. So on that you get a free Canadian phone number, and you can use it that app through your Wi-Fi, and you get a number, and you get calls, and you can pick up calls, receive, give it to your employers on your resume, so they can contact you. The second thing is I made a Canadian resume, and then once my quarantine was ended, I went and gave my sin number did my sin number and i had a gic account with cibc so i went and i started my cibc bank account which is very important and after that i went in and i got a phone number from fido and fido has a good offers for newcomers so you can check that out and the last thing I applied for jobs, which is very important. This country, to live and survive in this country, it's very expensive. And I, Vancouver is the most expensive city in North America and in Canada. And I think the next thing, and the most important thing, I think it is getting a transit card. Transit card uh, is uh, like a pass, a pass, pass, train pass, a pass for everything you get, a blue color card. Uh, in Vancouver, BC, it's a compass card, a blue color card, and I don't know about Toronto, but in different uh, provinces and different cities, it's different. After that, the two things which you need to do is get a provincial ID, uh, whichever province you land in, so they have a different identification card, so that is called as a province ID, which you can get it here. And after that, you can apply for your health card. In Canada, the health, uh, like the health is uh, the health system is very good and it's free. Healthcare is free, but you have to apply for your health card. And I think for students, it's like a minimum an amount we need to pay every month. And after all doing all these things, the most important thing is applying for jobs. This country, trust me. It's so expensive living here if you don't have a job to survive here. So to survive here, you need a job, which is very important. And for that, you have to make a good resume. And I know like most of the uh, students here do survival jobs like working in a restaurant or most of the odd jobs. But here I've seen it's different for any of to apply. Even for odd jobs, you need a resume. So get ready get your canadian resumes and about me when i wanted to come to canada i had followed some people i had followed the city the the most um, instagram posts of the city uh, where they post a lot of pictures about the city or tell something about them so this place i always wanted to come here like olympic village see the uh, science world from here and uh, in the evenings when it's dark it gets light up and it's very nice to see it and even the bc place the stadium it's very good to see it in the night when it's all light up and one more thing like 
this city has like a nice places like beautiful places and they also have the mountains right here behind me you can see the mountain beautiful mountains it's like an hour drive from the city the city has everything like it has mountains sea everything like it's it's called beautiful british columbia for a reason and i know after living here so one thing for me like i always saw a lot of pictures i followed a lot of people i always manifested to come here like i just wanted a calm environment because i come from a very busy city in india i come from mumbai it's always running for something so i think this is something i manifested for something calm and i like it here if you like my video you can like it if not uh, it's okay you can leave a comment if you don't like anything and you can leave a comment down below if you need me to change any things in my video and also if you want me to share about my experience about some things or if you want me to share a video about anything you can just comment down below maybe i can ask my friends or maybe i can tell you my experience if i had it or if not uh, i can at least try to answer you thank you